So I spent time trying to figure out why we get addicted to social media in the first place. Because while it's important to know like what the solutions are so that you can get yourself to quit, I think everyone just focuses on the solutions without understanding why we get addicted in the first place. So if you figure out why you're addicted in the first place, you it won't, it's not really going to be much of a problem, is it? It's kind of like, you know, if I get a cut or... You know, I'm like, I'm internally bleeding, like something's wrong with my body. And the doctor just gives me pain medicine and puts like a bandaid over my arm or something. It's going to help temporarily, right? But if I don't fix what's actually causing it, why I'm actually bleeding in the first place, then I'm always going to be bleeding. I'm always going to come back. Like those pain meds are only going to last for so long these band-aids are only going to last for so long before i'm going to need a new batch before i need to you know go back to the doctor again so why not just go straight to the source fix your problems and then if it's a problem in the future it's not going to be as big of a problem because you know what to do to deal with it so i dug around the internet trying to figure out okay what could be causing this what could be causing people to be addicted to social media in the first place what you first have to realize is that just like a drug addiction social media works the exact same way it lights up the exact same areas of your brain just like drug addictions do you start with having withdrawals when you don't go on social media it's basically a drug so you need to be able to treat it like a drug and that being said there was a study done on rats right where they put they put a rat in a cage put, they gave them two bottles of water to drink from you got this normal bottle of water that it gets its normal water whatever like nothing special about it and it's got this other water bottle right by it which is laced with cocaine every single time this rat is drinking from this water it gets drugged it gets high off cocaine and you know it, it starts running around in circles or whatever this rat is going to develop an addiction because it has nothing to do it's literally in this cage where all it could do to entertain itself is to go drink cocaine water so it's like that's all it's gonna do and of course the more you drink the more you want it so the rats are just gonna keep feeding for these cocaine water to the point where they overdose and die what's interesting is the they put a bunch of rats into another cage, filled it up with the two water bottles. They've got their cocaine water. They've got their normal water. But this time they have their rat friends with them. They have a whole bunch of, you know, the rat gang with them in the same cage. They've got stuff to do. They've got places to have people to socialize with. And what's interesting is that even with like the cocaine water present, because these rats have their friends with them, because they're doing stuff, because they actually enjoy their lives, they're not as tempted to be drinking this cocaine water. They don't have a preference for this cocaine water anymore. They would much rather drink normal water because they don't want to be high. And the percentage of overdoses dropped to basically zero at that point. So when you take that and you apply it to social media, you realize there's only three reasons why people get addicted to social media in the first place. If you're an entrepreneur and you're struggling with social media, it's eating up a lot of your time, then send me a message on Instagram. I'll help create a game plan for you so that you can lock in. The first reason why people get addicted is because they're bored which is the most common reason because you can literally be doing nothing you have nothing to do your phone is right here like in an arm's length away you will just grab it and instinctively just go on instagram and start scrolling just because it is the most convenient thing to do like you if you have nothing to do if you don't know what to do the easiest thing to fill your time with is to just go on Instagram, to just go on YouTube or something. Meditating helps just because you are consciously aware of all your actions rather than just living your life on autopilot. I can't tell you how many times I've grabbed my phone, opened Instagram, realized why am I on Instagram, swiped out of Instagram, swipe back onto instagram open the app again and now they're questioning my entire existence like what am i doing with my life to have opened instagram two times in a row when i had just told myself i'm not going to be on instagram right so being mindful helps being conscious helps meditating helps because then you're aware of these thought patterns that you're not even aware of this is where a lot of people myself included we make the mistake of thinking okay well if i'm just bored 
and I just keep grabbing my phone to go on Instagram, why not just get rid of social media altogether? Why not just delete TikTok altogether? Because then I'm not going to have this problem anymore where I'll just grab my phone and just go on to YouTube, go on to Instagram. That's a smart way of thinking, and I can understand why you think like that. But the problem is that you don't really want to get rid of it completely, at least in the beginning. You can't really get rid of your habits. You can only really replace them. And if you get rid of your habits where the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is grab your phone and scroll on Instagram, right? If you suddenly stop that, you will need to fill that up with something else because now your life is out of balance. Now, it, it, it doesn't, you might not understand why your life is out of balance, but it's out of balance because you are no longer doing something that you are always doing. And so to counteract that, you will start doing something else that you were never doing previously. I'm going to use my cousin as an example for this. Like, I'm sorry, bro. But he was severely addicted to TikTok, got off of TikTok. And instead of using TikTok, like he's, he hasn't used TikTok in like four months now. But now he's addicted to Instagram reels, which you could say that's basically TikTok. But it's like what I was saying, like you cannot just get rid of a habit without replacing it with something else. He got rid of his TikTok addiction, but he replaced it with an Instagram Reels addiction. So that's what I mean by saying that you can't just get rid of a habit. You have to be able to replace it. And so because I'm recommending you not to get rid of it completely and to just reduce the amount of time we spend on it, you can also reduce it by making it harder for yourself to get onto Instagram. What I do is I literally have like a blank screen on my on my home screen for my phone. And if I want to go on Instagram, I have to swipe, type out Instagram and then go click on it and now I'm on Instagram. It like it it's it adds like like 5 extra seconds of work, but that 5 seconds is enough friction for you to actually contemplate do I really want to put in this five seconds of effort to go on through this app knowing that I'm going to waste my time? Usually the answer is no, that you'll catch yourself mid stroke pause. You'll catch yourself in the middle of typing out Instagram and come back to your sentence. Then the second reason why people end up getting addicted to social media is because they are lonely. We desire human connection. It's the reason why social media is so addicting is because it tricks our brains into thinking we are socializing when we're not. It tricks us into thinking we are spending time with our friends by seeing their pictures on Instagram, seeing their stories on Snapchat, seeing what they repost on TikTok. And we convince ourselves to think that this is socializing. We crave social connections. That's why like these rats, when they're living on their own, they're so much more prone to developing these addictions to cocaine water. But when they're with their friends, they don't even think about it because they have their social connections. They don't need an app to be giving them constant hits of dopamine. When they have their friends they can talk to. Do you remember those times where you just go out with your friends? Nobody is on their phones. You even forget that your phone is in your pocket because you're spending spending so much time with your friends, you're having fun with your friends, you don't even think about your phone at all. That is really, you really want to live your life like that as much as possible. It's hard because I know a lot of people, like especially my generation, people struggle to make friends, people struggle to socialize. So they want to do the easiest thing possible, which is to go online, go on to Discord, make like friends online so that you don't have to leave your house so that you could just stay on your phone even longer. And you have a reason to do so because you convince yourself that socializing online is like just as good as socializing in person. That really isn't true. Is it better than nothing? Of course. Like if you really have no friends and you struggle to talk to people, you can just go join like online communities and make friends online. That's like your next best thing, right? I have a Discord. I'm not very active on it. But if you want to make friends, you can go join it. You can see if like anyone else who watched this video joins too. And you guys can make be friends with each other. You have plenty of options to be socializing, whether it's with your classmates, with your coworkers, with you know, the random strangers you see when you walk down the street. There's always time to socialize. Your family too, your sisters, your brothers, anyone you can think of, if you can talk to them in person, talk to them. It's going to make your life a lot easier. It's going to make it so that you don't really want to be on social media as much because you are getting the real thing in person. It's kind of like watching these videos on YouTube, right? Kind of like this one. Like you can watch these videos about meditating, about reading, about quitting social media, learning about how to run a business, right? Yes, you can learn on YouTube, but why not go straight to the source? Why not go get it from the like where all these YouTubers are getting their information from, from the books they read, from the articles they read, 
rather than from the YouTubers themselves, right? Same thing with social media. Like, yeah, you can go on social media. You can get your hits of dopamine from living through the lives of other people vicariously. Or you can go live your own life and go socialize with other people. It doesn't have to be much. A lot of people think that by socializing, they need to be spending every single day of their week socializing. You don't really need to be doing that. Even if it's like a couple days a week or like once a week, that is a lot better for you than not socializing at all. So go out of your house, go talk to people and go make friends. And then the final reason why people end up getting addicted to social media is because you are depressed. You don't enjoy your life. Life doesn't really pleasure you as much as it used to. You kind of are just living your life on autopilot, just trying to make it through the day and you hate it. You just feel empty inside and you do whatever you can to numb the emptiness, to numb yourself and distract yourself from this like mundane way of living. You go on social media because it's kind of a way for you to escape the real world where, okay, I'm just gonna go on social media. I'm just gonna scroll on like 2000 reels tonight and it'll help me fall asleep eventually. Is that really a way for you to be living? Do you really want to live like this the rest of your life? Knowing that you have so much more to be doing with life but it's difficult because you are depressed and you hate your life. So you just slowly rot away in your bed, scrolling your problems away. That's not any way to be living. You've seen these rats in the cage where the reason why they get addicted even more to the cocaine water is because they're lonely, they're bored, they have nothing to do, they hate their lives, so they distract themselves by getting high constantly with this water. Eventually, they overdose, they die, and the rat is no longer remembered. Do you really want to be the rat? You're not going to overdose off social media, but you will have a similar fate where you will die living a depressing life. And I know you don't want that. You've convinced yourself far too long thinking that, okay, this is my life and I've accepted it and I'm going to do whatever I can to distract myself from it. No, you deserve a lot better than that. You deserve much more than that. So we'll fix your mental health. Whether you're depressed because your mental health sucks or you just don't have enough time in the day to do what you want because you either have to go to school half the day, you got to go to work half the day, or you got to do both. You're trying to find a way to balance life and be happy at the same time feeling like you don't have enough time in the day to do what you want like you don't have time to run your business you don't have time to go to the gym you don't have time to make relationships and it's just eating you alive because this you know that this isn't the life you want but it's the life you have there is a course that i took that actually changed my life which is called the science of well-being i'll link it in the description it's literally free you can start today it will change your life dramatically and if it doesn't honestly you can come and reach out to me on instagram and i will literally pay you for not improving your life by taking this course right absolutely free i don't own it i'm not sponsored by it or anything just take the course and improve your life and if you want to know how i could personally it help you just dm me on instagram link is in the description and those are the three reasons why people end up getting addicted to social media it's either because of one of those things because of two of those things or because of a combination of all three if we're able to solve these problems first you know get rid of your loneliness get rid of your depression get rid of your boredom you are not going to be addicted to social media anymore you, you won't have to watch these videos on youtube anymore about how i quit social media what i did to quit social media Th these dumb videos on youtube that only want to tell you what you want to hear but not what you need to hear so fix these three and you will literally never have to be addicted to social media again